we've already seen the first bullet from uh, Chip Ganassi's effort. Here comes Juan Pablo Montoya. Came oh so close to winning this race last year. Started second in last year's race. Led all those laps up until he got the speeding penalty. About 124 of them to be exact. And there we see he he runs harder into one and two than where Jamie had lost a little bit. Two completely different styles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he just attacks this racetrack, and I think he's going to win this pole by two, two and a half tenths. Yeah, I was talking to some of the team guys. They were talking about how McMurray was trying to run the same setup, you know, and they were running basically the same setup, but he wasn't able to arc his car in as, as Montoya's. He just never felt confident enough to do what Montoya's doing, but evidently McMurray's picked up something because he's the man to beat right now. Chip Ganassi looking on. He knows what's at stake here. He knows this is probably the only shot he's ever going to get at this trifecta. And he is watching intently wow. as here comes his driver, and he's definitely in the green. So right now it's going to be Juan Montoya, Jamie McMurray, 1-2. And Chip, that better make you smile. Yeah, that's a hard, that's going to be a hard lap to beat for anyone now. Nice job there, JP. Nice job. I thought you went to get here. P1. Well, Kevin Hart said it would take a 30 to do it. 49.37 seconds. The bosses came by, gave you a slap on the back there. Chip Ganassi, Juan Pablo Montoya over here talking to Jimmy Johnson about his lap and doing a little hand signaling uh, to Jimmy uh, on the lap that Jimmy ran. Right now they are first and second. And Juan Pablo, a great effort here uh, for, for Chip Ganassi racing first and third. Uh, you think your time will hold up? Uh, I hope so. You know, it's up there. I think it'll be probably a top three start in the worst case scenario. You know, this target Chevy has been amazing. I think both of the Ganassi cars have been really good, and, and it's nice. You know, right now we're first and third, and I think the biggest threat was 48, and he's right there. You know, you have made history here before for Chip Ganassi, winning the Indy 500 as a rookie. How important is it for you and Jamie, one of you guys, to make history for Chip here by uh, picking up this win along with the Daytona 500 and the Indy 500 in the same year? Uh, we'll see. You know, it's still a long way to go. You know, we just still Saturday. We still got to run tomorrow. I think it's got to be smart and, and see what happens and give ourselves a chance to try to win this. What were you and Jimmy talking about? Uh, just talking about the laps. Okay, Juan Pablo Montoya right now on the pole and on the outside front row is Superman, the defending and three-time Brickyard 400 champion, Jimmy Johnson. All right, Doc. Well, the field is set for the 17th running of the Brickyard 400. Our race will be at 1 o'clock Eastern tomorrow on ESPN with countdown beginning at 12 noon. And, of course, uh, the big news, Juan Pablo Montoya, the first step in the process of completing the trifecta, Jamie Little, is complete. And I'm in the middle of two very happy gentlemen right now after dominating last year, leading 116 laps, then the heartbreak because this man was speeding on pit road. You come back and get the pole. What does this mean for you and your entire team? I think it's pretty exciting. I think the target team has done such a good job. You know, our, our cars are come a long way. And you know, last year we had a really fast car here. And, you know, it seems the same way this year. You know, we still got to run the race. But it, it's exciting when, when you go to a place, and especially like Indy, and you, and you have a shot of winning and, and being this competitive. You were talking about your qualifying lap that you actually made a pretty big mistake and you were surprised. What happened? Well, it wasn't a huge mistake. It just got a little bit tight out of two. And and it's funny because you look at the truck, everybody out of two was like staying with me. And then in three and four, it was a little stronger. So it was it was, it was good. It was a good lap. Uh, just it was a little bit more in there. Congratulations. It's a different car, but seems to be just as good. We'll talk to his team owner, Chip Ganassi. It's been your year so far, Chip. You just won your third Indy 500 with Dario Franchitti a month and a half ago. What is this like for you to come back with this guy who you won the Indy 500 with from the pole in 2000? You know, he likes this place, and that's uh, that's always fun, you know. And, uh, you know, we've our team's had a good run of things here. And, um, you know, we just, you know, we still have a long way to go, Jamie. You know, we have a race tomorrow to run. You know, we have lots of goals in mind for the team this season. And, you know, this is just one more step today having the pole. We're pretty happy, though. Brian, Patty, crew chief told me this definitely was a major goal today to get the pole chip. But let's talk about what everybody's talking about. You won the Daytona 500. You win the Indy 500. This triple crown. Not much to tell you the truth. Come on, you're lying. It would be nice. It would be nice, but that's something you know for the media to talk about, and our sponsors and everything. You know, I have a job to do, and that job is 
Let's focus on what's important, and that's tomorrow right now. And then, you know, we'll talk about that afterward if, if it's worth talking about. All right, celebrate the poll while you got it. And we'll watch them in the race as they lead the field to green. Marty? Trust me, he knows this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that may never be repeated in our lifetime. You want to talk about great moments for his team? Well, there is Juan Montoya's win back in the 2000 Indianapolis 500. And <laughs> didn't think the crew guys were going to let him up for air. And he will lead the field when we go racing tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern time. All right, let's go through this. Who stands out for you guys? Well, the Chevys stand out to me, man. They had a strong running qualifying. Only Greg Biffle able to break up the party. Nine out of ten Chevrolets and uh, no Toyotas or Dodges in sight. The best Dodge, Brad Keselowski. Yeah, Brad had a great run uh, early on there, so a big benefit to him jumping back and forth between the two racetracks. Great run for Landon Castle. He'll start in the 20th position as we move further on down through the field. Who stands out there? Probably Kyle Busch starting further back than we might have expected. Yeah, it, it seemed like those guys got uh, the whole Gibbs team drew late numbers. I think Kyle's car is good. Alongside of him, you've got Casey Kane, too. And, and Casey has been, you know, in position to win this race a couple times, so we could see some surprise there. And on down through the field. Yeah, you see the guys that are really glad to be in the field. Todd Bedine, Dave Blaney, Travis Quaffle, and uh, good lap for Michael McDowell. Yeah, Max Pappas, another one that we saw there, and Jacques Villeneuve uh, has his opportunity there, along with Montoya and Sam Hornish in this race to become the only guys uh, to win the Indy 500 and the Brickyard 400. And as I mentioned, uh, Gilliland, Mears, Stremme, and Yaley, the four cars that will not make this field. So as we uh, come back into our pit studio here, this is a huge opportunity for Ganassi Racing. He's downplaying it, but I'm telling you, I mean, we've talked about this. To win all these races, Daytona, the Indy 500, now potentially here, wow. Yeah, it's hard to enjoy things while you're doing it. You know how we've done that through our career. You're really focused, but this is some time that he'll look back on and he'll say, this was really special. Yeah, and as we talk about Chip and his opportunity, I want to go back to Montoya with that opportunity. I mean, how many guys we talk about, there's three here, but really Montoya has the best opportunity to become the first person to win the Indy 500 in Brickyard 400. And guys, I know he's got a great opportunity with Montoya, but let's not forget about Jamie McMurray. I've just got a good feeling, the confidence that's there, the crew chief he has the team i think it, he may be the shot well especially when you realize the pole sitters only won twice out of the 16 prior races so maybe jamie mcmurray is the guy to watch out of that team but boy i'll tell you what a lot of powerful chevrolets they could be looking at another win they've won it here quite a few times already as uh, we get ready to go look at the view from high above the racing is going to start over at the O'Reilly Raceway Park. They'll have the Nationwide Series tonight at 7.30 Eastern. And then the Brickyard 400 presented by Corral, Golden Corral, Sunday at 1 Eastern on ESPN. Our coverage starts at noon Eastern with Countdown. As we take this quick flight over to Raceway Park, it's time for the Nationwide Boys' final practice. Vince Welch, how are things going? Down 